Welcome to my YouTube channel Modi Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. In this video, I would like to explaining on objective questions and answer on welding processes. So here that will be the part number one and that will be considering as a most important 20 question list that will be helped to crack GATT examination, UPSC, GPSC and all kind of government examinations. So let us start with the first question. In which of the following gas welding process a non-consumable electrode is used? Option A. Submerged arc welding process. Tungsten inert gas welding process. Option C. Stud welding process. And option D. Gas metal arc welding process. So basically in tungsten inert gas welding process there will be a tungsten material that will be used as an electrode materials. So which is non-consumable during the welding process. Or you can say that the rest of the other options like submerged arc welding process, in that case it will be the consumable wire electrode is being used. In stud welding it will be also consumable. And gas metal arc or you can say MIG welding it will be also consumable electrode is being used. So here that will be the non-consumable electrode. So that will be the tungsten inert gas welding process or you can say TIG welding process. So the right answer is option B. The next question. What is the only difference between plasma arc welding and TIG welding process? Option A. Flux is not used. Option B. Gas is not used. Option C. Tungsten electrode is not used and option D construction of torch is different. So basically construction of the torch is the only difference in the case of plasma arc process and T welding process because in plasma arc welding process there will be the torch and in that case it will be the two gases is being used for developing the heat. And in case of the TIG, it will be the only single inert gas is being supplied. So according to the requirements of the temperature during the weldings, in the case of the plasma, it will be the two kind of arc is being generating. So the construction of the plasma arc welding, it will be so much difference with respect to the TIG welding process. And rest of the things like flux is not being used for both the process, gas is also not used and tungsten electrode is also not used but the construction of the torch that will be only a difference so the right answer is option d the next in plasma arc welding the gas is option a ionized option b heated option c magnetized and option d vaporized so basically in case of the plasma arc welding process the gas that will be ionized gas so the electrode is used is made to tungsten and the filler metal is used to addition to it. So basically the right answer is option A ionized gas. The next which of the following gas welding process uses the constant voltage? Option A submerged arc welding, option B tungsten inert gas welding, option C stud welding and option D gas metal arc welding. So in case of the gas metal arc welding process that will be used as a constant voltage. So the tungsten inert gas welding does not use the constant circuit voltage. So in the case of the constant voltage is being required or you can say utilization so that will be the MIG welding process or you can say gas metal arc welding process. Then option D. The next question. Which of the following inert gas is used with DC power supply only? Option A, argon. Option B, helium. Option C, CO2 or you can say carbon dioxide. And option D, nitrogen. So basically CO2 is used only into the DC power supply and it cannot be used into the AC power supply. So that will be the another form of the questions. And argon and helium can be used with AC supply. So here that will be talking about a DC power supply. So the right answer is CO2 option C. The next question. In which of the following welding process heat and pressure is applied? 
on the joint but no filler materials or flux is being added so option a arc welding option b resistance welding option c gas welding and option d thermite welding process so in the resistance welding process the working principle is the heat is being generating between the flow of the electrons so that will be act as a resistance of the flow of the electrons so in that case there will be the power supply is being used and after application of the pressure that will be the joint is will be carried out so in case of the resistance welding process heat is obtained by the flow of the resistance of the current and pressure is being applied so in that case there will be the no filler materials is being required so the right answer is option b the next wells pattern is option a flux option b electrode coating option c welding defect and option d welding test so basically wells pattern that will be the category as a welding defects so the right answer is option c so just you can see that will be the photographs of the spatters it will be on to the welding process so these all the spots or you can say droplets of the molten form of the metals it will be act as a weld spatter and that will be considering as a one kind of welding defects so option c welding defect the next projection welding is option a multi spot welding process option b continuous spot welding process option c used to form mass and option d used to make a cantilever so basically projection welding is a welding process and that will be the category of the resistance welding process and in that case it will be the predefined point or you can say predefined locations so that will be considering as a multi spot welding process and the second option that will be the continuous spot welding process so in that case that will be the seam welding process it will be considering as a continuous spot welding process so here the question is talking about uh, projection welding process so that will be the category of multi spot welding process but in that case it will be the predefined locations so option a the next seam welding is option a multi spot welding process option b continuous spot welding process option c used to form mass and used to form cantilevers so i already told you the seam welding that is similar to the spot welding process but the seam welding that will be the roller electrode that will be replacing into the point electrodes so that will be making a continuous spots onto a sheet metals so right answer is option b the next thermite welding is a form of option a resistance welding option b gas welding option c fusion welding and option d forge welding so basically in case of the thermite welding process that will be the fusion kind of welding process so similar kind of arrangement that will be fine for a casting process so you will use a mixture of the thermite and that will be into the molten form and that will be fill into the cavity so that will be first it will be the fusion form of the that particular thermite mixtures and that will be solidified so it will be the category of the fusion welding process so the right answer is option c the next submerged arc welding is option a a process which uses a mixture of iron oxide and granular aluminum option b accomplished by maintaining a hot molten metal pool between the plates option c a process in which arc is maintained under a blanket of flux and option d all of the above so in case of the saw or you can say submerged arc welding process basically the arc it will be maintained under a blanket of the flux the another name of the saw or you can say submerged arc welding process that will be also known as a hidden arc welding process so basically that arc it will be inside of the flux so that will be hidden for the operators so just you can see the basic set up for the submerged arc welding process so here that will be these blue pipes that will be used to continuously feed the flux materials around a arc and that is our torch so inside that will be the arc is being generating 
so this arc it will be totally blanketed by the flux so that will be the right answer so option c a process in which the arc is maintained under a blanket of flux the next question arc welding uses following electric supply option a ac supply option b dc supply option c both ac and dc supply and option d spiral wave form so basically arc welding process that will be used as both ac and dc power supply so the right answer is option c the next the most commonly used flame in gas welding is option a neutral option b oxidizing option c carburizing and option d all of the above so in case of the many practices for a metal joining process that will be followed a neutral flame so that will be having a maximum applications in the field of the engineering so the right answer is option a the next in mig welding the metal is transferred in the form of option a molten drops option b weld pool option c molecules and option d a fine spray of metals so as per the process of the mig welding process the metal that will be transferred in a fine spray form of the metal and in that case that will be the continuously feeding of the wire form of the electrode so the right answer is option d a fine spray of metals the next in reverse polarity welding option a electrode holder is connected to the negative and work to positive option b electrode holder is connected to the positive and work to the negative option c work is positive and holder is earth option d holder is positive and work is earth so basically that will be the polarity it will be the systems that will be connected with the electrode to the workpiece material so which kind of terminal is being joined to the workpiece and which kind of terminals that will be joined to the electrode materials so basically in case of the dcsp that means what direct current straight polarity so in that case what happens the electrode holder is connected to the negatives and work to the positives second dcrp that means direct current reverse polarity so here there will be the questions like reverse polarity so what happens the electrode holder is connected to the positives and work to the negatives then right answer is option b the next question in what conditions are the parts kept before welding in ultrasonic welding methods so option a low static pressure option b high static pressure option c low moving pressure and option d high moving pressures so basically in case of the ultrasonic welding process the parts which are to be joined the cap clamping to the one another in between of supporting members and the welding tips so this clamping is done at a low static pressures so that will be not damage onto the surface of the work pieces so the right answer is option a low static pressure is being there the next question what is the maximum thickness that can be welded in ultrasonic welding process option a 1.8 mm option b 2.1 mm option c 2.3 mm and option d 2.5 mm so basically in case of ultrasonic welding process the maximum thickness that can be achieved varied depending on to the metals but the maximum thickness that can be welded is around 2.5 mm with a ultrasonic welding process so the right answer is option d the next question which of the following is not a factor for explosive weldings option a high relative velocity option b less amount of plastics option c proper orientation and option d high pressure so basically in case of the explosive welding process the factors that one needs to understand is that there has to be high relative velocity there should be a proper orientation and it needs to be kept under a high amount of pressure so which is not a factor 
So not factor that will be the less amount of plastics that will be not the factor of into a explosive welding process. So the right answer is option B. The next question which of the following articles is not manufactured using riveting option A railway wagons option B coaches option C pressure vessels and option D helmets. So basically rivets is largely used into the manufacturing of the railway wagons, coaches and pressure vessels because that will be also considering the permanent joints where bridges and few types of furnace bodies but in case of the manufacturing of the helmets so at that time rivet that will be not preferable so it will be not used. So here question is like that which of the following articles is not manufactured using riveting. So the right answer is option D helmets. Then next question too fast welding speed in arc welding would result in option A excessive peeling up of weld metal poor penetrations wasted electrodes option B excessive spatter undercutting along edges irregular deposits wasted electrodes option C too small weld weak weld and wasted electrodes and option D none of the above. So if you are not controlling the speed so you can say for the too fast speed into the welding so that will be having a small bead weak weld and a wasted of the electric. So the right answer is option C. So I hope you understand this if you like this then subscribe and share Modi mechanical engineering tutorials. Thank you so much and keep watching.